Welcome to my channel guys, my name is James. Today, I didn't actually plan on making this video, but since we decided to leave Barcelona, come down to Cambrils, which is a little town just a few hours south of Barcelona by car, and it's such a nice day, I decided to show you what we normally do here with family and friends in Spain by making some sangria. It's not typically something that you make when you go out to, let's say, a restaurant, you don't really want it for dinner, but it is something that people tend to have during the summer when they go to the beach and also around family and friends on the weekends. So before we get started today in making the sangria, be sure to subscribe down below, like the video, and let's get started. We're gonna make some simple syrup first so we can get that out of the way and it helps making a simple syrup you can add sugar to it but it just helps incorporate the sugar a little more into the mix so for the simple syrup we're just going to be using about three tablespoons of sugar and then equal parts water so about three tablespoons of water you're gonna add this into the water bring it up to a little bit of a boil until the sugar dissolves and that's it let this cool after it's finished Alright, so as you can see for the ingredients that we're going to use today for sangria, is we have a lot of ingredients and typically it's a very fruity drink. So we have a lots and lots of different types of fruit. We have some oranges, we have a bit of, we have some apple, we have lemon, we have some, this is called melicotone or peach, as well as a pear, which is, we're going to peel the skin off, some fresh mint, some cinnamon, as well as a grapefruit. And we also have a bit of alcohol that we're going to be using today because it's not going to be a very good drink without any alcohol. And then, of course, you, the base of the drink is going to be a dark red wine. That You can use any red wine that you have. It's not a problem if you can't find a specific type. Now we're going to cut some orange. We're going to use about one orange. We're just going to cut it in half. And now we're going to juice it. Okay, once you have the juice, it's going to be about nine tablespoons in total. And after you strain it, we're just going to add this to the mix. Right. After you have the orange juice, now we're going to start with the wine. You want to use a red wine, or vino tinto, as it's called here. And it doesn't have to be a very expensive bottle of wine because you're not going to be enjoying just the wine. We're going to be adding so much to it that you can use a cheaper wine if you need. We're going to measure out around 200 milliliters. All right, and if you want to add a little more wine or you want to adjust the recipe, you can. It's very, very flexible. Everyone has their own recipe. After the wine's measured out, and now we're going to add the liqueur. Just gonna add a few tablespoons to it. All right, now after we've added the wine and the liqueur, we're gonna add the sugar water and the simple syrup. And now we're just going to add a little bit of cinnamon. You can use powdered cinnamon if you want, or you can add the sticks of cinnamon in. The powder just helps absorb it. It helps flavor the wine a little more. Now we're going to take our lemon and this is actually quite a big lemon, so we're only going to use half of it, and we're going to zest it. You want to clean the skin first of the lemon, like always. I'm just going to peel. All right, now for the fruit. We're going to take the other orange, and we're going to cut it into segments. So you can cut it. do that by cutting off the top, cutting off the bottom, and then we're just going to use the tip and we're slowly going to cut around the orange. You can do the same thing for most fruit, actually. Oh, this is a juicy orange, too. And after you peel it, I'm going to use my chef's knife because I have enough practice. You actually want to use a parry knife with this. You, you can use a little knife. You just, you see these little segments here? These are individual segments that we're going to cut out and we're going to cut whole. So you can just cut down to the end. And there are two ways you can do this. This way is easier with the big knife and just take them out. Or if you're using a parry knife, you can cut down. You're gonna twist, cut a little bit, twist and just pull out, just like this. And we want to do this with every segment. 
So now we're going to do the same thing as with the orange. We're just going to cut it on segments and it's a little easier. So if you can see these lines, it's a little easier with this because it's red. And cut down on both sides and take one segment out and it comes out clean with both sides. Very easy. Alright, so after we segment the fruit, now we're just going to peel an apple and pear and we're going to cut it into wedges. You want to use Granny Smith apples if you can get them because they have a very bitter flavor so it helps with this. We're just going to cut this into segments. Alright, so now after you peel the apples, we're going to do the same thing with the pear. Okay, so once you peel either peel this apart or like this one is a little green, so I can't use all of it. All right, so now if you cut everything, you've cut all the fruit, we're going to add this to the wine, including all the juice. We're just going to add this in, all the segments, all the apple segments as well. If you want, you can leave these apples and you can leave, you can leave the skin on. You don't have to peel everything. Now we're going to add a decent amount of mint. Just gonna add about all of this as well. If you need to add a little more liquid to it, you can if you want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit. We're gonna put this in the fridge for one hour. You're gonna put some ice in it when you wanna serve it. So to make the sangria, it can only take you about 30 minutes to an hour. Well then plus about an hour after you put it in the fridge. But once you're done, it's very easy and is very, very tasty. And if you want, you can take all the ingredients that you made, all the fruit, and actually plate them and eat them as well because you don't want anything to go to waste. It's not just for flavoring and you peeled everything, so why not? But it's a very, very tasty drink to have with family and friends and especially during summer. So if you like this recipe and if you want more recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, like the video, and if you have any questions about Barcelona or, well, any food questions or anything like that, then be sure to ask me. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you again soon, as soon as I get back to Barcelona.